Hello everyone, welcome back to the Zone Focus channel. Today we're going backwards in time to uh, a few weeks back at the beginning of spring. I was able to get the chance to go to the oldest cherry blossom tree in Okayama Prefecture, which is the prefecture that I live in uh, here in Japan. Uh, the tree is 1,000 plus years old and it is a pretty big attraction in the area that I live in. It's not a big city type of place, so you know, trees are what attract people. Anyway, I'm not going to take up a lot of time. I'm going to take you all straight into the video. I shot some expired uh, Fujifilm Provia 400X uh, supplied by a good friend of mine named Reika. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. And I shot it on the Mamiya RZ67. After the video, I'm going to bring you all back here because we're going to view the pictures at the same time. There are not any pictures as you look in the video uh, of me taking the images, but there will be images at the end of the video and we'll see them together at the same time. See you in a minute. So now I'm gonna get into uh, a little voiceover. This is the Sakura tree. This tree is called Daigo Sakura tree. It's a 1000 year old plus tree in Maniwa, Okayama, Japan. And it sits on top of this mountain it took us like an hour. I went up there with a friend of mine and it took us like an hour to get to the top because of traffic. Uh, this, the view is amazing though once you get up there and the tree is beautiful. I took this Provia 400X like I said at the beginning of the video, got it loaded up and went straight to work. So the first shot I saw was uh, right here in this little flower patch and I crouched down into the flower patch to try to get the flowers in the foreground. I can't remember what I shot at, but I took a meter reading from my meter and I bracketed two shots right here. Uh, then I decided to move a little closer to the tree. Again, I mean, it's just, a, you know, just really nice, uh, a really nice day. Mind you, this tree is one of the 100 great trees in Japan. I don't know who makes that list, probably someone Japanese, but they think this tree is amazing and it was. That was pretty funny if you caught that. Me and the old guy next to me raised our camera at the same time. Might wanna wind that back and look at it again. But yeah, got a couple of shots, almost backed into this guy right here and that lady almost fell. And uh, it was a lot of people taking shots right here. And I wanted to try to see if I could frame a shot a little different. So I moved around, got a little closer. I saw an arm that was holding a tree branch, caught that. Then I, uh, you know, walked around the tree just trying to see what I can see. I mean, we're on top of the mountain and it's us and one tree. And uh, yeah decided to turn around and saw those trees with the sun setting over the top of it and tried to capture that as well but it was a beautiful day okay guys so now we're back at home this is maybe two weeks later from what you just saw in this last video I've gotten the film back. Um, I haven't seen these pictures yet. I've had them for two days and it's been killing me to have to sit here and wait to have to open these. Provia 400X. Oh yeah, it looks like they came out pretty good. So it looks like the first image kind of came out a little underexposed. I think I metered for the highlights and uh, didn't split the difference between the highlights and the shadows. All right, the second photo, now the second photo looks more like exactly what I was aiming for. So I'm glad I took two exposures and bracketed uh, the exposure. Uh, Cause I got good detail in the front, in the foreground, in the yellow flowers. The thing about slide film is, is that you're gonna lose uh, your highlights and your shadows really quick. So you wanna kinda hit it in the middle and you don't wanna overshoot your highlights and you don't wanna undershoot your shadows. Okay, then moving to the third. As you saw in the video, uh, at this point in time, there was a lot of people standing in the same place taking photos. And uh, I was sitting and I was trying to figure out, okay, what can I do to kind of make a different photo? The sky is so blue. All right, then the fourth picture we got, as I was standing there, I looked up and I saw the moon and I could see the moon up there in the sky and I was like, that would be a great 
image to kind of be able to catch the moon in the image as well. And I got two of those kind of frames slightly different. Okay, the sixth photo, I stepped back a little bit and got the tree with some people in the frame. So I wanted to actually frame up some people, you know, kind of show that there are other people in the scene. Photo seven. So there was this arm that was holding up the, the branch of the tree. So I just wanted to photograph the arm. I mean, all of this is of the Sakura tree. And I'm, I'm really kind of glad that I did this. Mind you, this only happens for maybe a week and a half, once a year. Uh, okay, the next frame, frame number eight. So I framed up the moon again, but I framed it a little differently this time and I like how it came out. Okay, and then on the last two frames, I kind of changed it up. Now this was a little difficult because this is a shaded area that I shot it in. I mean, there's still a little detail in it. I mean, I can still see the details. And uh, I wanted to get the little boy by himself, but his dad walked in the frame just as I took the shot. And then the last is just, uh, it was just kind of a warm glow from the sun on top of these trees. And I just wanted to capture that, that warmth that was kind of touching the top of the trees. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to do this again. There's something about slide film that negative film could never come close to recreating. So with all of that being said, I would like to give a major, 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 sh major shout out to my girl Reika. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a thumbs up uh, and go follow my Instagram. Of course, the Instagram is always right here on the screen. I appreciate you guys. Stay on focus and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.